Why do most of you still face lag in game loop while playing PUBG Mobile? I know this topic gets complicated. I've already covered a full optimization and best settings guide. You'll find that linked in the description. But even after that, a lot of you still complain about stutters and random lag. So today, I want to break it down in the simplest way possible. Now look, doing basic configuration isn't the problem anymore. There are tons of optimization videos out there. Some very detailed, some not so much. If you're interested in how Gameloop itself works, I'll also drop a link in the description of another creator who explained it really well. But if you just want a straight to the point guide, stick with me. So why am I making this video again? Because even after optimization, there are still a couple of hidden issues that cause lag. And these are the ones most people overlook. The first big one, whenever you launch game loop, it creates a temp folder where your cache gets stored for faster loading. The problem is if that temp folder ends up on a regular HDD, you're going to feel stuttering and latency. Here in my case, you can see when I launch game loop, it creates temp files on my D drive. I honestly don't know why it always picks that drive. I researched a lot and still couldn't find a proper answer but I did find the fix. I simply take other drives offline, so Gameloop is forced to use my C drive, which is NVMe. The result, zero lag, super smooth gameplay. If you don't have NVMe, an SSD works fine too. Just avoid HDD for temp. Here's how. Search for create and format hard disk partitions in Windows. Open it and you'll see your drives at the bottom. For me, disk two is my NVMe, disk zero is SSD, and disk one is HDD. Since my game loop is installed on C, I disable the other two drives by right-clicking and selecting offline. Don't worry, it doesn't break anything unless a program is actively running on that drive. Just make sure to close all apps first. After gaming, you can always set them back online. Second major reason, antivirus and anti-cheat conflicts. Gameloop doesn't play nice with third-party antiviruses, so always disable them while playing. Windows Defender is fine. It's actually optimized and doesn't eat performance. I personally keep it enabled for basic protection. But if you're using a vast, Kaspersky, or any third-party security, disable real-time protection before gaming. For anti-cheat services, it's a bit trickier. Press Windows Search, type msconfig, open it, go to the Services tab, and uncheck everything except game loop related. Apply, restart, done. But remember, this step can break other games. For example, if I disable VGC, Vanguard Anti-Cheat, Valorant won't launch at all. Same goes for Steam service or PUBG PC services. So when you want to play those games again, make sure to re-enable their services and reboot. Yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, but that's just how it works. Another hidden culprit, virtual memory. Windows normally manages paging file size automatically, but with Game Loop, it doesn't handle it properly. Even on my 64 gigabyte system, I had lag until I manually increased the paging file. Here's the quick formula. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size. Pick your fastest drive, preferably NVMe or SSD. For initial size, type the recommended value Windows shows. Mine is 4,885 megabytes. For maximum size, take your total RAM in megabytes, multiply it by 1.3, and use that number. For 16 gigabytes RAM, that's about 20,800 megabytes. Click Apply, 
restart, and that's it. Oh, and don't forget to increase shader cache too. I've covered that in detail in my previous game loop optimization video, linked in description and pinned at the end of this one. Now, one last thing I want to say. Since we're PC players, we're used to perfectly optimized PC games with stable frames. But game loop is different. It's originally capped around 60 frames per second. And though they announced 120 frames per second support, even high-end PCs struggle to maintain it. So expect a few frame jumps here and there. It's normal. But with these tweaks, you'll avoid stutters and heavy lag spikes. Overall, gameplay becomes much smoother and consistent. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, drop a like and hit subscribe for more. This is Explodey FPS. I'm Syra, signing off.